What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleveland Terry. We are at, where are we right now? We're at Sweetwater's Gear Fest 2022 and we are at the In Music Rain Den in Newmark Akai booth. And today, today, yeah, today, Akai released a very, very important piece of machinery here. And that is their, uh, M, what is it, the MPC Key 61. First, is it the first keyboard? Yeah, so, so basically this, this pretty much shut the internet down yesterday. And by the way, before he starts speaking, I do need to introduce the man. Yeah. This is Andy Mack. I'm sure you guys know of this guy, but uh, this is my first time meeting him, so I'm actually very, <laughs> very excited. Uh, they were like, we want to do this video, but you can't do anything unless you have Andy Mack in the video. So <laughs> I got him here. I guess you are the, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. So. Um, I've been with Akai for what, 16 years. Okay. I do a lot of music production. I've just done a load of singles with H Town, Craig David in the UK. So I'm always very involved in the music scene and production, but I also run that, the whole A&R vision at Akai. Gotcha. So I get, to, I get to hang out with a lot of my heroes yes. like, gotcha. all the time, mm -hmm. which is a privilege. Um, and then I get to work on these kind of products okay. you know, and you know, put all my kind of energy into these, be able to showcase them. Um, all over the world, really. So it's pretty amazing, man. So this was announced today. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday and morning. And we went live. Um, okay. We had a big, big promo with Scott Storch. So I, oh, I, nice. okay. I spent four days with the guy, and he's just <laughs> next level. Did he still next. have sunglasses on? Yeah, always. <laughs> and, and he can only wear them. Yeah, there you go. He's badass. <laughs> of course, of course. Now, I guess the the big question is going to be, uh, what makes this different than like your standard NPCs? Yeah. Why would somebody want this over yeah. an NBC and like a Very keyboard? Very interesting question. So yeah. basically, you have you have a full-blown NPC inside, mm -hmm. right? Now, what does that kind of give you compared to other keyboards? Well, the first thing it does, it gives you the most mature and powerful sequencer. Of course. Inside a keyboard, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of the other kind of like sequences, they were the very kind of just, I suppose, they haven't progressed. Yes. 16 tracks, eight tracks, right? So mm -hmm. we're coming from a sequencer that's been around for a long time that's responsible for a lot of hit records and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, you're familiar, you know, you've got your DAW type layout, of grid modes, step mm -hmm. sequencer, all of that real cool stuff. But then also you you have a full-blown professional sampler. Right. So you're now into the realms of drum programming, chopping up samples, uh, all of the things that we're accustomed to when right. you're making beats and tracks, right? Um, you think it's possible that he'll stop for a couple of minutes? We'll see. Sorry, we're gonna... Maybe just, just five minutes while we record. We'll do just that. Thanks. And, uh... <laughs> no problem, you're good. Right. you're good, you're good. <laughs> so you got your sampling on board, you got your drums and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got touch strip for performance. Okay. But the key thing about the MPC keys is we've added all of these like plug-in sound engines yes, into it. Right. So th this takes the whole workflow to a new level because what I found and what a lot of people are finding and they're, they're seeing in the videos mm -hmm. is it's the it's just it's the interaction with the keys mm -hmm. and the sampling and the drums all in all in one. No, you never synthesizer. have to leave the box. No, and it, it just, it, it feels very different. It really does. Yeah. It's very intimate. Mm -hmm. It pushes your playing and you're, you're pushing your melodies and it actually makes you a better musician at the same time. Well, right? it's, it's funny you'd say that because I, you know, I started with an MPC 2000 XL. Yeah. That, was, that was my first one. And then, uh, but I had that in a Trinity. Yeah. And I always chose to do one thing over the other. I'm yeah. going to play keys. I'm going to go to the Trinity. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to play drums. Let me go to the MPC. Yeah. So now... I only have like, like I have like an Ableton push. Right. I can't stand playing any type of music on it. Yeah. And having a keyboard is like, for me, that's kind of where I, where I learned. And on. it does, and it's, it's really interesting you say that mm -hmm. because like when, when we go back, Rodney Jerkins, Teddy Riley, mm -hmm. you know, Neptunes, right? They all had this way of utilizing the way that they make beats and right. stuff. Triton, all, you know, all back in that day. Yeah. They, you, you had to have some kind of sound module because computers weren't really up to the of standard of, mm -hmm. of plugins, yes. right? right. So as times progressed, computers obviously sort of technically offer you so much that you can get lost in yeah. what you're trying to create. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that bringing, bringing the whole workflow into one synthesizer really changes the game for everyone yeah. and it does like every time i touch this something magical always happens so you know let, let's just walk through it sure. right so you have all of your kind of go-to types of plugins that you need right mm -hmm. so 
fabric is a kind of like a, a, a go-to all-in-one. Gives you, you know, everything from piano strings, drone basses, synth leads, pads. You can create any type of music from it. Sure. Then you can get a bit more specific where you've got an FM synth, right? right. So you can go into like four operators, you can go into a lot of heavy sound design and, and actually you can get a lot of that 80s vibe, which okay. is a good time for that. It's coming really. back. Good time for mm -hmm. that. Um, then stage piano, this gives you like four different models of piano. So, and, and so this is very, very high end. So let's just say, for example, I'll go through some, I'm gonna go to a new track, go to plug in seven, and I'll just go to stage piano. So what I can do now is we can, And then you can go into edit, and mm -hmm. then you can change the model. Oh, okay. But then you can go into all of the different types of like effects and EQs, so you can change it very, very easily. But really, what it does, it gives you a really high-end piano sound. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want a piano, go to stage EP. And again, we're in the realms of road models so whirl it's a uh, road course. suitcase all mm -hmm. that stuff so again and you spark an idea mm -hmm. you can flip the drums straight away instantly and this right. is where you're you're sitting there trying to find an idea that works um, and again You've got organ, so if you're um, if you go to say you, you're in church, you're doing all gospel stuff, right? Sure. Which is a massive part of keyboard playing, right? Right. Huge, huge part. Mm -hmm. So we can go into here, and again, let's put this down. <laughs> okay. And you're there. And right? it's all and all in one box. We haven't left anything. Yeah all there all touch so th this takes again it takes the whole experience to a whole new level right but going back to say traditional music production right mm -hmm. so let's go to track one all right um drums you can you've got about 800 drum kits but you okay. can pull drum kits from anywhere your own samples anything you want but and, then and how am i pulling on this keyboard so we go to menu, you can plug in via USB. Okay. And then so you can pull in all your samples that way. Mm -hmm. um, you've got an SSD drive. Built in. That you can put underneath okay. into a SATA drive. So you can Perfect. have like a two terabyte yep. and have your, your, you know, your whole library basically. Sure. So I've got loads and loads of different types of kits and packs and samples that we could pull from. Mm -hmm. Now, what's great about that is that you, you, you never get Ryan's block. Right. Really, because you, it, you don't necessarily have to use them, but they might spark something. Yeah. Or you, you're looking, you, a lot of people don't like sampling drums. Mm -hmm. They just want to find great drums that they can layer. So right. they're so useful. They really mm -hmm. are, right? Okay. So we've got all the drums. So if we want to put something together, right. we can either start with a melodic melody or we mm -hmm. can start with our drums. Sure. So you can so find a beat. So we'll go. So that's done, mm -hmm. doing rolls, using the touch strip. And then we can start flipping different samples on it. So already, yeah. we're kind of there, right? Right. Then the vocal. Vocal chops.
and that's that's already right. This is already yeah. you're, you're, you're garlic, already right? you're ready pretty good. Yeah. Now, metronome off. Go to track two. Okay. And I'll just use this piano. Sure. So again, you can start working out melodies, right? So let's just work out. So record that and then do that there. Um, then we'll go to, let's go to a bass now. Okay. And then you can sit and work out your bass line. So once you've found your bass, two, three, four. So now grooves running. Now we can put some of the some of the tinsel on the top, yeah. Okay. Excellent. That's what you can do. That's, um, that's, that's what you can do. You just, <laughs> just, you just touch it and then it comes out like that. <laughs> but, but that's what you, you know, you're locked inside the groove. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've got incredible sounds. And you haven't, you haven't left anywhere. You can, no. you can just be there and make the entire song yeah. right from here. And then you can flip it. Right, so let's just put that melody down, right? Okay. We can flip it again. So that's running. Then we go into our effects, plugins, all of this stuff, yep. right? So we can start. Turn this off. Check this out. You can half speed the whole thing. You could just flip the stuff. I'm just, I'm so impressed that, that what you made, and obviously look, you're a talented guy. Not, not everybody can take a keyboard and do what you just did. But the fact that it was seamless, that's the key here. It was from one place to the next to the next, and you never had to, had to leave the board. It was all, it never took away from your creativity. No. You and and, and the, the great thing as well, you can flip your styles with it, right? Yeah, really, you know, really easy. Like, and this is where a lot of the content and the sounds come into it. Like, for instance, let's just go to another plugin. I'll just go to sounds, go to a Rhodes, just show some of this stuff. Um, and you, and you, you can go into like the real kind of old school hip hop. You can go into, um, let me turn off the half speed, hold on. We can go into some of the old kind of classic mm -hmm. SWV stuff. Um, Uh -huh. 
And then you could play these chords and then you can resample it, chop it up, right. add effects. Um, so there's there's a there's a hundred ways I can yeah. show you how you could use it that relates to different people. How yeah. No, I think it, I think the way you showed it is how I would have gone really? into it. <laughs> yeah, as from a from a producer standpoint. Um, so, what is this one running? What's what's the cost? Uh, Eighteen nine nine. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all, actually. Yeah. And so what you get, so it's four gig of RAM, so it's twice the RAM size because you have RAM PCs. Okay. Um, obviously, new touch strip yep. on there. Keys. This has obviously got after touch as well, so. Oh, gotcha. Which is great. Mm -hmm. um, outputs, four outputs on the back. But also remember you got USB, so when we were doing the 2.8 and the 2.10 updates, right. you got class compliance support and multi-MIDI. So if you want to bring in like USB MIDI modules or whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. you could literally plug them in and it'll populate inside. Gotcha. Um, mic inputs, instrument, line inputs as well, eight CV gate. I mean, we haven't even hit on the modular stuff yet. So mm -hmm. you want to go into kind of electronic vibe or whatever, you've got all of the CV gates, and then you've got, you know, standard traditional MIDI as well. Okay. Um, sustain, foot switch, yeah. expression. So, and also what's really great is it's not cluttered. No, with, definitely not. You've got the buttons that you need. Yeah. Massively important metronome. Mm -hmm. Quantize, uh, grid edit, um, but then you can just pull up the touch and then go to stuff where you want. So, speaking of edit, so let's say you, you went back to your beats and everything and you yeah. needed to, to, to move a kick drum over, how, how difficult is that? Oh, so, um, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, I'm thinking, I'm gonna show, actually, I'm gonna load up another beat, right? Okay. Because this is one of the most awesome things, is that exact question, right? So I'm gonna load up um, this one here. I'll put this under there. Yeah, I could have sold that beat. <laughs> You totally could have. It's <laughs> <laughs> another one gone. Over the years, I, I wonder how many beats I've actually just, just switched off. So here we go. So we'll go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise these drums for a second. And here we go. This is just a four bar, right? So we'll just lay off. So we go here. Oh, hold on. I'll put my record on. Let's do that again. So now, right, if we go into our kick um, or snare, here's my snare, right? Okay. Right. Don't snap. Right. And then we'll... Oh. Yeah, right. Right. I right. <laughs> Hi hat. Let's push this way. Uh-huh. That's it. That's crazy. So then we go into... You know, you can yeah. get lost up. But move, you know, moving stuff off the grid, chopping up samples, you can you can go straight to that old traditional way of making beats. Mm -hmm. You can go to the new vibe of using a lot of the melodic effects and right. everything. So it's really down to you how you, you know, okay. how you want to use it. Gotcha. Hey uh hey Jay. Jay man. What, what do you think what do you think of the new NPC? Oh man, you already know what I think about it. <laughs> 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 Recent video. <laughs> I have not, I've been stuck sleeping. Got you. Stuck in trouble. Right <laughs> <laughs> this thing is, I don't know if you can hear it, but this thing punches. You're yeah. only on mid-volume right now. I know. This thing is punching. Hits hard. Hits hard. No, it's it's an it's a it's a nice looking keyboard. It's got everything that you need. Very impressive.
Very, so tell them where they can get it. It's, it's out now? Yep, it's out now. Okay. Yeah. And is there a store, any type of exclusive somewhere that well, they should know about? They would need to be fast. Put okay. it that way. Gotcha. In other yeah. words, it's selling out fast. So I'm assuming like everything else, yeah. you, have a, you have a certain allotment and then, yeah. then you have to go back to the drawing board. And, and, and if I could tell you some of the people that mm -hmm. hit me up last night okay. trying to get this. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Some crazy, you know. And it's your, it's your first, yeah. your first keyboard. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So you know, we've done controllers, but yeah. to bring it all into one, mm -hmm. this is this is the first. Yeah, eighteen. PCT, that's yeah. not that's not bad, yeah. honestly. I was expecting it to be a little higher, knowing that it had yeah. all of it. So. And it was actually because the, there was a there was a few leaks online, and people were speculating about how much it was going to be. And right. They were obviously looking at the X and everything. Uh -huh. and, and you know, at the end of the day, we, we wanted we wanted something that. Yeah. Yeah most people could afford. Yes. Do you know what I mean? That could really put it into the hands of new users, mm -hmm. people that really wanted that all-in-one experience and right. stuff. So, you know, we're, we're massively proud of this product. Yeah. No, it's very, it's very, very good. Um, yeah. I want to give a shout out to my man, Andy Mack, for helping out with the demo. Now we're going to take his song and then reproduce it, and we got a hit on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> I deleted it. <laughs> it's on here. It's on here. We recorded the whole thing. So, uh, once again, we got Akai, Andy Mack, Jay Black over there. We're in the, we're in the same space together. You're in the same space, yeah, I know. First time. Uh, again, yeah, make sure you look at your Sweetwater online. Check it out. Buy it there. Are they giving any price breaks or any type of uh, payment plans? I'm not sweeto? sure. I'm sure whatever they can the do, guys. they're going to do it right now. We'll talk to the sales guys. So thank you guys for hanging out today. Live demo. We'll see you next time. Peace.